Hey guys, <clears throat> today I'm going to show you how to go from this image to this image. Uh, this image is actually an album cover of like my favorite singer of all time, Florence and her band, The Machine, um, and it's called Lungs. Uh, yeah, pretty much that's all I've been listening to. Um, and so using the compositor, uh, we are going to be able to get this nice skin glow. And the method I'm using is actually, uh, uh, I got it from a book called The Wow Factor. It's an ebook. It's pretty, pretty good ebook actually by uh, Andrew Price. Uh, and uh, it's his method was used for in Blender scenes that have a light in them, like that, like this light source. And let's say the camera was pointed at the light like that. Using this method he can make the light seem uh, more realistic adding like a soft glow or a sharp glow or whatever and this is actually using an image so this is going to be a little different and so that's why I'm not like totally ripping, uh, rip, ripping them off it's just a little modification that you can use for your own home images. You want to improve your Facebook uh, your Facebook status picture you know, uh, you know, make you s make yourself look a little better, and a nice, soft, subtle, glowing effect will certainly help that. So let's observe that. All right. So what I'm actually going to do is there's two methods to get this picture into Blender, and the first method is actually pretty cool. I let me pull it up really quick. Uh, do 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 tune shader. Whoops. Nope. nope. Blend file, crud, cancel, alright, um, let me find it really quick, alright, there we go, I don't know if you can see, but I added some Suzanne heads into this image, as if they were really in her image, uh, it's pretty cool, I got it from a text tutorial from Blendamend, and using his method of importing the image into Blender is how you could do it, you can also do it in a different way. Let me show you the first way first is click on the world tab, click on textures, add a new image texture, and open it from wherever yours is. I have a folder for that project. And alright, now we have that. Let's go down here and under influence, deselect blend and select horizon. Alright, and then under the World tab, click Paper Sky. And so what that will do is, well right now it looks horrible, but well, it looks stretched out because of the camera. But let's get that then. Go under Render Settings and set the resol resolution to however big your image is. I know mine is 1400 by 1400. You can find out how big yours is by, well if you have Windows XP, under tiles it should tell you right there 1400 by 1400 I think I remember it also in Windows 7 down here it'll tell you or I think you can probably just right click on the image uh, properties and it should tell you all about the image so you can do that too like how big it is and or not alright so we'll just you know try to figure out how big it is and that's how big you want the camera to be. So now if I were to re-render this, the camera ratio is uh, accurate with the picture so the picture doesn't get stretched. So that's one way of adding it. We should actually probably delete that and delete that light. Junior, close the door. Come on in. Do your homework. Homework. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so that's how we get the image in. And that's the way I use but another way you can also do it is under the node editor uh, click on compositing nodes and click on use nodes and you should see your render layer and your compositing layer your, compo your render layer node and your compositor node and I just hit S to scale that out um, so now if let me add a viewer node shift A and output viewer and use backdrop. So now whatever I rendered is right here. I'm hit V to make that smaller and Alt V to make that bigger. Alright, 
to make your background image bigger. So this is what is going to be rendered. All right, so this is our preview basically. And so now you can see it just works perfectly. Now let's say let's say you just wanted to use your Facebook status image. So you don't want to put make all those steps. So you just want to open Blender, go to the node editor and shift A add an image input. And it's just the same as uh, same as over there, you just click open and open your image. But instead of I don't know why the alpha is selected to there. But instead of the render layer being connected to the compositor, uh, the image layer should be connected to the compositor. And then you can do just the same steps that I'm using to get that. So whichever way, whichever way you want to do it. All right. So now let's click on our render layer, Shift A, and let's add a RGB curve under color RGB curve and this is the way you want to do it because we're going to use an image and not uh, light sources so to do this first we need to isolate the lightest parts of our of our picture so by putting this down everything else darkens but the lighter parts stay a little bit lighter than the their counterparts so just however dark you want your image to be Alright, so now we want to shift A and add a under filter, a blur filter. And it's gonna be change the flat to fast Gaussian. Because it's the fat it's fast to render and it also gives you a really nice output. So that's a very popular one. And now you can just put in let's say 20. And that blurs your image. And however big you make this blur is how big your your blur is going to be, I guess, you know, that soft glow with the image. So if you just wanted a subtle glow, it wouldn't be very big, or else it'll look very, well, unrealistic. Um. Alright, so, I mean, I'm not trying to go for realism, I just want it to look nice. So 20 is pretty good. So now we can add Shift A, and we're going to add a mix node so that we can, well, first, um, if we were to render this right now, this is what you'd see. If you were to render this right now, this is what you'd see because uh, this is the image, basically. But now if we add a mix node and from the render layer or from the image node, select the little yellow circle on the image and drag it over to the first image node of the mix. and then change that to add and let's connect to that node to our viewer node and now we can see that we have a nice glow see right here so of course if this is where yourself it wouldn't be that obvious but that's only one example I'm using you can use it for other stuff too alright so yeah you see up here in the letters it's very obvious in the letters because they're pure white but that's how we do it. That's because if you if we didn't have this mix node, it's now called add. Whatever you change it to is what it's called. But originally it's called mix node. But uh, if we didn't use a mix node, the I, odd you see is a blur. But now connecting the connecting the image and the blur together will give us this right here. So that's, that's just what we're going for. So if that's all you wanted, you know this is you know your step. You don't need to go anywhere past this. But I just want to add a little bit of color to mine, so I'm just going to shift right click on my these two nodes and then grab them a little bit out of the way. Click on my mix node and I'm going to add a color balance so I can change the tone of that white color. Connect that to my viewer and compositor. And what I want is I want like a nice purple, you could say, or like a different color. So, you know, just changing this changes how your image looks, how what tone it gives it. And, let's see, alright. I mean, for me, this is good. But let's say you wanted your image to be a little brighter. You just have to drag this color wheel up a little, and that'll make it brighter. So, just depending on what you want, what you're seeing, where your picture is, of course. Uh, but that's basically it. Good job. That's not spelled right. Alright, um, that's my little brother. He's in first grade in spelling words.
So this is basically our node layout. This is what we have at last. So just remember using RGB curve, you can either separate the lightest part of the scene from the darkest part or vice versa and to give you this nice glow. Alright, so that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching.